We are Shane and Anne, and this is our van, Fergus. In our previous video, we got reunited with Fergus after six months of being apart. He had some ugly surprises ready for us, but everything seemed good, until our good luck ran out, and now we are vanless. Will we be able to be back on the road? So, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, the good luck with Fergus starting has only lasted for not even a day, and it has already broken down, so this trip is not off to the best of starts. And we were about to leave the beach this morning to head on on our adventure and the engine would not turn over so we think it's a starter motor issue so we've taken the starter motor out we have tested it put it back in very started again that lasted for about an hour and it has already stopped again so we have taken out the starter motor we've ordered a new one that should be here in the next day or two and we will get that fitted to fergus but unfortunately we just have to wait and we can't move until then so Let's wait and see, can we get this part into Fergus and get back on the road. So after almost two days of waiting, we have finally got our hands on a brand new starter motor. So here it is, right here. This is going to be replacing this old, probably 40 year old starter motor. So now we just have to take one of the cables of the old one and transfer it on to the new one. But thank God we have got a new one and hopefully this is going to fix our problem and get us back on the road. Okay, so here are our two starter motors. We have our old one and we have our new one right here. Now, when I was taking this apart this morning, I did find that this wire has had some questionable repairs done in its time and I don't know if that was causing our problem it looks to be probably the original starter but now we have got this brand new one from area campers so now it's time to get this here in the Fergus so just looking at these two starters and on the old one it had like a screw in terminal but as the new one it has a speed connection so I'm just going to have to change this wire to fit on to the speed. Jane is setting up his bed. Um, <laughs> his bed. Shane's mechanical bed. Okay so now it's time to go under the van and fit this starter and he's going to be up on top. She's going to be doing the one up here. I'm going to be below the van so let's go under. There's not much room under here. So as you can see, I'm practically kissing the gearbox. I have absolutely no space. Okay, so when you are putting the starter in, you wanna to have to be kind of reaching around the gearbox. So this is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but Fingers crossed, we can get this in relatively easy. So, I'm gonna put you up here so you can see my struggles. Do you help? Nope. This is the challenging bit. Trying to communicate to each other which way to go. Left, right, up, down. Right, so. Uh, let's see. I need you to twist to the road. Uh, as much as you can. Out a bit. Right, twist. I can't go anymore. Yeah, because it's hitting this part. What part? The part that I'm moving. So, can you take the starter back a bit towards the top of the van? Yeah, and then turn. Okay, and now in. Perfect. Okay, and now turn to the house. Can you? Perfect. Okay, that's it. What? Did you tag that? Holy s! We're good. It's not 
put in. It is. Yeah. A hundred percent, I'm telling you. And that is how you fit a starter in a T25. Oh my god. In like 20 seconds. There you go. You yeah. We have done it that much. We uh, <laughs> we can do it our eyes closed. Okay, go to the uh, front seat, and there's the two bolts. Okay. So this has been my view for the last couple of days. One and two. Thank you. Let me feel it. Let me feel it. Should I think? Oh, I don't know. It's hard. Hard to tell. Thirteen. Nope. So now it's time to connect up the positive cable coming from the battery to the solenoid. I'm going to pass you up, Danny. Yeah, hi. Annie, that is a 16. Oh, is it? No way. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is a 13. I was sure it's a 13, I'm sorry. As soon as I touched it, I was like, that's not a 13. Okay, sorry. There we have. <laughs> Job done, more or less. This job kind of goes in my t-shirt. Yeah. Oh. What? Dirty. Yeah, we see what it says. Oh, sorry. Wolverine mechanic. Oh! Ah. <laughs> so slow to the punchline there, aren't it? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually slow sometimes. Okay, so the starter is in, the battery is connected up. And now the only thing left to do is turn the key and fingers crossed that Fergus actually starts. Okay, big moment. Please, please, please. Come on. Woo! <laughs> is it just me or you made a different noise? Made a different noise. That's a new starter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm happy but I'm confused. So that is brilliant. Fergus has finally started. Fingers crossed now, there is no more issues and that is was the cause of the problem. So we can continue on the journey. But now we have the task of cleaning up the van because it is an absolute mess. And, and we were it? only after cleaning it. We spent the day cleaning it. Let's move to the front and we'll see how dirty this van actually is. <laughs> So this is the situation we are dealing with right now. Ta -da. We have tools everywhere. Loads of sand Loads as well. Sand. We are right beside the road so it's so busy. It's so loud. <laughs> but we need to clean up this whole entire van. And there is Annie putting the last bit of tools away, hopefully for a while. A while. Because we put them out every day. With these old Volkswagens, when you go on a trip, you should take everything, including the kitchen sink, with you because you just do not know what you're going to need. So just here in Fergus Start is such a relief. And maybe that's one less thing we have to worry about on this trip. And with a brand new starter, it just gives us a peace of mind. And fingers crossed, that is everything that we have to deal with. So now it's time to pack up Fergus, get ready for setting off on a trip because that really didn't really go to plan the last time. So now, time to pack up, head for our trip, and see where we get up to for the next couple of weeks. But that's just a short, quick video, and if you have any questions on anything about the starter, or how to fit the starter, just drop it down in the comments and we'll get back to you. Because we are experts. We have fitted so many starters at this stage. I'm dying to see how long uh, it actually took us this time. I think it's like under 30 seconds. Yeah, you, we have to get it in within like 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> a record for us. But thanks for watching. World record? What do you mean us? Well, I am wearing a Volkswagen t-shirt. <laughs> and it is a Volkswagen mechanics t-shirt. But anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.